Welcome to a special edition, outdoor version of the Metal Voice. Alan and I got tired of the studio. It was musty, uh, it was misty, musty, 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 musty studio. And I figured, let's just strip it all down. Let's rip down that green screen. Let's rip down the effects and let's go. We'll go live. We're going live. <laughs> Jim. Live recorded. New. Let's get right to it, Jim. Uh, very it's spring. Highly... Spring's in the air, Alan. Spring's in the air. And that's why I wanted to be outdoors. Okay, Jim. We're outdoors. So. All right, go. Highly anticipated album. I've been waiting for it for ever since the release of Blood of Nations. It's Stalingrad, Brothers in Death by Excess. Stalingrad. Jim, you know, you listen to this album. Yes. You know what thing I, I realized? What did you realize? Wolf Alan? Hoffman. Who yes. sounds like Wolf Hoffman? Nobody. Nobody. You Wolfie. listen to this album, his guitar sound is, is only his. Huh? But nobody ever talks about it. No. You know, Eddie Van Halen has his sound. Yes. So does Wolf Hoffman. This guy's a genius. I Great agree. album. That, that's the first thing that stuck out on this album, overall. Yeah. But then again, every except album he's on, it's always, he's phenomenal. Of course. He's, Live, he's like no other. Everything. Oh, he's like no other guitarist. A little neoclassical uh, influence there, a little typical heavy metal riffs there, there and always original, and always and his solos. That's what it is. I think his he's solos. the originator of power metal. Yes. I, I think with the big backing, chanting vocals that come yeah. in. and. Again, this is a new album from Accept Stalingrad. Um, it's got everything you want, everything you expect from Accept. And now, I think, Jim, one of the things that struck me was, you know, they came back strong, Blood yeah. of Nations. Uh, you know, and now is, do you copy that formula? It worked the first time. So there's always that fine line you risk of running, you know. So if it worked, how much do we change the next album that comes out? And I think a certain amount of people might say, oh, it's uh, Blood of Nations Part 2, and it, sales might not be as strong as the first one. But, I mean, two years ago, that was the album everybody was talking about. Even Biff, Biff yep. Byford, when we, uh, yep. we interviewed him, yes. said that's one of the albums that stood out for him as well. Yep. Uh, but I think this album takes it up just a little bit another level. First of all, the lyrics make sense. Yeah. That's a big change from the Udo years. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But you've got the chanting, you've got the slow pace, you've got the way it builds up to the big chanting backing vocals. Everything you like about Accept, it's right on this album. So I'm looking forward. I'm glad it's out. Yep. I recommend everybody to go and buy it. Hung, Drawn, and Quarter. Hung, Drawn, and Quarter, that's it. That's a great song. That, I mean, what a way to start off uh, an album. In your face, yeah. the chanting in the background, like you mentioned, uh, it, the whole album, it's, 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 it's fury. It's fury, you know? it's fast, it's hard. There are some mid-tempo moments and soft moments, but if I was to say, what was the difference between this one and the last album? I would say, it's, you could see that these guys have been working together now for a few right, years, exactly. fitting like a glove. Shadow Soldiers. The Shadow way it starts Soldiers. off a little bit uh, quiet and that. It's a beautiful song. One of my favorites off the album, in fact. Uh, you know, Jim, one of the stories when I first discovered Except was Restless and Wild. Yeah. And I remember I was asked to DJ. We had a carnival at high school. Hey, it's Alan here. It the DJ, DJ Alan. Is that what it was like? <laughs> it was a country and western theme. But they asked me, to of DJ. all people, to DJ. Now, they knew what I was about. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if they were sending a message to the school. <laughs> they, they were mad about something happening at the radio station. I wasn't part of the radio station. So a good friend of mine came up and said, Hey, would you like to DJ the country and western theme breakfast? I said, Sure, breakfast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the first song I put on is... Accept. Accept. Fast as a shark. Fast as a shark. <laughs> And I, I, no, I was in the studio, I mean, I know everybody's not. down in the cafeteria, yeah. I'm going to build this up a bit. They're down there with their western hats, their vests, their, their fake guns, they're all there. Yeah. And what comes over the first song on the speakers is Heidi Heido. Heidi Heido. That the record scratches, it goes into that famous screen with the double bass drum. I, I still just wanted to see the people's face. I have this <laughs> vision in my head, somebody's cutting into their pancakes, and they're about to eat, and they hear this come over, and they just stop, and they don't know what's going on. And yeah. of course, it, it went to anthrax after you, that. You, you know what? But, but, uh, but Alan, people, the youngsters out there, let's say the young metalheads there, the next generation of metalheads, they don't realize that fast as a shark, you couldn't, you didn't, you, you couldn't get faster. You couldn't get faster than that back in the day. It was like, what? Thought, what, know, what were these guys doing? Yeah, it was fast as if, a shark. If you, how's this? If Yuda was back in the band, do you think this album would have been better or worse? Jim, you know, I listened to this album and I went back to listen to Rev Raptor Yudo. Yeah. Yudo's got extremely strong albums too. Yeah. You know, it's when his first album came out, Animal House, yeah. was supposed to be the next Accept album. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, the lyrics were by Defi and the same thing. So it's hard to see the line sometimes between Accept and Yudo. 
Yeah. I mean, I don't think they have the backing vocals, and, and of course, Wolf Hoffman, we said earlier, yeah, they, don't they don't have, have that on the feet. Udo album. But, you know, Udo on his own is very strong. He's strong, yeah. but, but like we've always talked about, they're more of a band, Udo's more of a, a project. Yeah. Right. But to answer your question, I, I don't think it would change necessarily. Um, the, you know, uh, uh, Mark Torillo still sounds like Udo. Mark Torillo, there's know? another there's And another he's thing. got uh, he does some, some vocals on here that I think he stepped it up, where he might have been yeah. kind of wanting to follow the traditional classic sound of Udo's voice on the last album. He's really coming, I think, into his own, showing what yeah. he's all about on this y album. You know what? He was at a 9 out of 10 on the last album, and yeah. now he's at a 10 out of 10 vocal-wise. He is, at some points, I go, is this Udo screaming? Yeah. I mean, old school Udo now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, how about the Hellfire? Did you like Hellfire? Hellfire is it, a great it, track. It is a, a fury track. Uh, just one, a, a catchy, fast, pure, I wouldn't even say this is classic except. This is not classic, this is a new except. Yeah. It's another chapter of Accept. The other one was Twist of Fate, which Great. was really different. It's, it's, it, you gotta listen to it, I can't describe it. It's, it starts off and then it goes in a direction you didn't expect. And it's not poppy or commercial, like yeah. uh, some of the songs on Metal Heart. Uh, you know, again there, Metal Heart, the pressure company. We need that hit single. We need that hit single on Midnight Mover, you know. Yeah, yeah. But um, and the other one I too is the Galley. That's one of the oh, ones you yeah, can listen yeah, to yeah. the lyrics with the drums and everything. It actually makes sense compared to some of the esoteric lyrics we're used to with Except yeah, yeah. in the Past. So I think that's a big thing that Mark brings. Stalingrad as well. Yeah, with the, the song the, Stalingrad. That touch with the nice Rus Russian anthem at the end. Well, yeah. I thought that was a nice touch as well. You know what it is? It's old Except in the sense that you got the chanting vocals, you got Wolfie's playing like always, always original and always familiar, and then you got the new sound of course mark and the rest of the band pushing it in another another direction but that's what you want in a band you, know, you want them to do some of the old but then bring it to another level yeah. and to me what would you give it out of 10 oh i'd give it 9 out of 10. oh i, I would say 9 9.2 out of 10. jim the other thing is there's 10 songs in this album with the bonus track called never forget so yeah. they're like 10 quality songs i know you're yeah. big on that uh you don't like the filler and people go yeah. to 16 songs sometimes and there's some of the songs are weaker these are 10 solid songs and I recommend you, everybody, go out and purchase this album. Thanks for watching another edition of The Metal Voice, our outdoor version. <laughs>